boys and girls, Max Scoville here for you with the Destructoid news update for Tuesday, January 21st, 2014. I apologize for the lack of videos last week. Literally everything went wrong, and therefore we did not do any of the cool videos that you have come to expect, I hope. Uh, so I figured I would run down, uh, you know, some of the good news that's happening this week. There's, there's a little bit of it. Uh, starting out, let's, uh, let's cover something that happened last week, which is kind of a big deal. Nintendo did their big financial money dollars forecast where they announced exactly how much money they were expecting they were going to be making in, I guess, the last fiscal year. Uh, and they had to kind of adjust their expectations. Uh, they had been expecting to sell 9 million Wii U's, and they had to adjust that just a tiny bit down to 2.8 million Wii U's, which is actually going from uh, a 55 billion yen gain profit-wise to a 25 billion yen loss, which, if you're unfamiliar with business terms, fucking sucks. Following this, their shares dropped 18%, which is, uh, again, further bad news for them. Uh, and kind of in discussion about this, they, they said they were, they were going to be taking, I guess, new tactical approaches, kind of rethinking their strategy. However, uh, Iwata did chime in to say that this does not mean they're just going to suddenly put Super Mario on a smartphone, in spite of that maybe possibly being a good idea. Uh, he had to say, the spread of smart devices does not spell the end of game consoles. It's not that simple. It doesn't mean that we should put Mario on smartphones. Now, I respect their uh, commitment to consoles and to, you know, making their own hardware, but would it hurt to try? I mean, it's, a, it's almost a 30-year-old game. Would it really hurt to put up the original Super Mario on iPhone for, like, two bucks and just, you know, maybe see if that helps your net profit become a profit again as opposed to a loss? I mean, sorry, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, on the subject of Nintendo, we did have uh, one piece of good news, which is a look at the single player for the upcoming 3DS uh, Super Smash Brothers, which is this screenshot. Now, uh, you might have heard that they've taken the story mode out of the single player. There's still a single player, but there's no story because they were afraid that people would upload the cutscenes and therefore spoil the game. That is the excuse that they officially gave. So there's the screenshot of Mario in some woods. However, if you want to be excited about something in relation to Nintendo, there is a rumor flying around that their next console is already in development, and it's apparently a handheld console being developed simultaneously, and it would be called the Nintendo Fusion, um, which doesn't seem like that much of a stretch. Uh, they'll probably change the name to something, um, you know, really, really stupid in the last minute. Like, remember when the Wii U was Project Cafe, and then they changed it to Wii U, and we were like, that's actually a step down. Or the Nintendo Revolution, that became the, the Wii. And then there was the Dolphin, which I guess was a GameCube. Anyway, now all you Microsoft fanboys out there who are probably scoffing at the impending demise of Nintendo, I got some bad news for you guys too. Apparently Microsoft got busted for um, basically doing a secret promotion with Machinima Partners where they would apparently get an extra three bucks per thousand views to their channels as long as they, uh, I think they basically mention the Xbox One, show some Xbox One footage, at least like 30 seconds of it, and don't say anything bad about it. Uh, this might not seem like such a big deal, you know, because internet money and integrity, who needs it? Uh, but this might actually be a violation of Federal Trade Commission guidelines, wherein uh, you basically have to publicly acknowledge if you are being uh, paid to endorse anything, and this was all completely under NDA until someone broke it and, uh, you know, revealed the secrets to the internet. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's kind of shady, you know, being like, hey, you know, guys who play games for a living, why don't you, uh, why don't we pay you to not say anything bad? What could go wrong? Now, moving on to PC gaming. Uh, back at CES, we got to see that those 14 different species of Steam machines that are somehow coming our way in the near future. Uh, one of them was the Alienware ones, which look you know, nice, like all other Alienware hardware does. Uh, we still don't have a price point on those, but we do have one more detail, which is probably not a good thing. They're not upgradable. Yeah, so you're gonna shell out a pile of money for these, uh, you know, these PCs, which, uh, you know, if they were being presented like consoles and kind of promised to have a long lifespan, uh, that probably wouldn't be such a big deal, but apparently are also going to be released uh, updated versions annually. So they are basically PCs that you can't upgrade, and there's gonna be a new version coming out with new specs every year. So I'm guessing this is just Alienware targeting their usual demographic who are, you know, PC gamers who don't want to do the assembly themselves and they have the money to get a cool thing with an alien on it because it's like, like Roswell, man. Remember those aliens everywhere back in the 90s? While we're on the subject of PC gaming, Resident Evil 4 HD, the Ultimate Edition, is coming out for PC. So if you haven't played Resident Evil 4 on any of the other platforms that it was released for, 
Good news, because the Ultimate HD Edition is coming your way, and it has HD terror in it. So, uh, moving on to some Sony news, if you are one of the um, 12 PlayStation Vita owners out there in the world, uh, some good news for you, if you are a PlayStation Plus member as well, you will get 20% off four games that are coming out over the next four weeks. It's a PlayStation Play Plus thing. What are the, it's one of those sort of promotion things. Uh, but the four games that are coming out, there's Oli Oli, there's Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, there's Dust Force, and there's TXK. So if any of these games strike your fancy, uh, you will be getting them for 20% off. And if you buy more than one, if you buy two, you get three bucks off. You buy three, you get six bucks off. And if you buy all four, you get 10 bucks back for you, you can spend on other different games. Um, but I'm, I for one am excited that there is a new Dragon Ball Z com game coming out to the Vita. <laughs> you get to fight a cat, seriously. For those non-Vita owners who do have a PlayStation Plus membership for the next week, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons is gonna be free. So go check that out, I hear good things. Okay, so back to the stupid bad news about video games. Uh, King, the guys who make Candy Crush Saga, have apparently succeeded in copywriting the word candy as it relates to gaming and clothing, of all things. Uh, so if you have a game on the App Store which has the word candy in the title, you can't have it anymore, because you're gonna have to take it down, and you're gonna, because they, they own that word. And uh, speaking of copyrights, Disney has abandoned Star Wars 1313. Not the title Star Wars, but the number 1313, which they previously had copyrighted. That was that uh, announced game that was rumored to be about Boba Fett. It could have been so cool, but apparently they've scrapped it entirely along with the rest of everything LucasArts may or may not have been working on. So, um, yeah, if you had your hopes up for that to be, you know, trickling out along with EA's other titles, or maybe, you know, Visceral was going to pick it up and finish it, that is not happening anymore. Uh, and if you want to make a game that's just called 1313 and harvest some of that sweet, sweet SEO, go for it. Though people will probably be disappointed if it's not about Boba Fett. I know I will. Now finally, your last story. It's a little, I guess it's, is this a story? I don't know. Uh, Hideo Kojima has teased the Play Arts Kai action figure of Quiet, who's that scantily clad sniper from the upcoming Ground Zeroes. Um, this is an action figure that will be ready for you to purchase at some point. A uh, little fun fact about the Play Arts Kai series, if you've never actually touched one yourself, they look great in pictures, but when you hold them, they're, they're kind of squishy. They're very bendy. They're made of PVC, which is a much softer plastic than action figures are usually made of. So, hey, fun fact, you can't learn that from a picture. Um, this action figure makes me think of that part in Grandma's Boy where he's beaten off in the bathroom to the Tomb Raider figure. Remember that? All right, well, um, before we go, here's a picture of a raccoon I drew. I hope you guys have a lovely Tuesday. If you have any uh, cool questions or fun comments or whatever, just put them in the comments. You can find me on Twitter. I'm Max Scoville. And if you would like to read words written by intelligent people, you can find some of that over at destructoid.com. Uh, until next time, see you guys around.